Yellow Moon, I see you. What's going on? Greetings, 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 get right gang, greetings. Anybody here? It's always very awkward at the start because it seems like there's a delay. So I just start talking and it takes like 30 seconds before anybody picks it up. So I'm just thinking, so I don't know if there's a problem with the stream, if the sound is not working, if it's frozen, if the internet's gone down, if the world has come to an end, I'm just like, dang, it's just me by myself. <laughs> yeah, it's mad awkward. But yeah, hopefully some of you pick this up in a second. If you're picking me up, let me see you type one in the chat. Tap one in the chat if you're hearing me clearly. Oi, what's up, Jay Smith? What's up, Geraldine? What's going on, Yellow Moon? <coughs> Couple gang members here. <laughs> it's so weird to say that. Couple gang members here. Thank you, Yellow Man. Appreciate that. Yellow Moon says, you're good. Three exclamation points. Violet, what's up, Violet? Violet's here. Hello, Violet. We've got the usual suspects in the stream tonight. How's everybody doing today? Gang, gang, how is everyone doing today? What is today? Monday? Tuesday for some of you? <laughs> Violet says, best gang I've ever been in. Low. How many gangs have you been in? Sheesh. You might be saying too much there. Don't answer that question. Don't want to get yourself in trouble with some ops. <laughs> Where's everyone watching from then? Where, where are we at? Where is everybody at today? Where are we located? What is your city? Rep your ends, as we used to say. Something we used to say here in the UK, rep your ends. So in the UK, we used to represent our postcodes and our boroughs. And that was like a big deal, even though like a postcode is like a couple streets from another couple of streets and that but that will be your that's your territory and you used to rep your ends so rep your ends people where are you from grateful one says so proud of you jamal keep up the excellent work i'm gonna keep doing my part trust me north carolina in the house we got canada in the house moscow russia 4 a.m you are a crazy person but i appreciate you greatly you really stayed up to 4 a.m. just for me? Guys, that's special. I'm touched. Violet here from Arizona. Jay Smith says, doing well, long day, tired. I know all about that, trust me. <laughs> we got Seattle in the building. Big up Seattle. I'm a Seahawks guy myself. Even though they've not been doing too great the last couple of years, I was a Seahawks guy, so big up Seattle. Hassan from West London. I see you, Hassan. Hassan, I haven't seen you. Have I seen you in a stream before, Hassan? I don't remember seeing West London, so I think you might be new here. What's good, West London? That's like the nicer part of London, for those who don't know. North, east, south, west. West is like the nice part of London, for the most part. <laughs> I don't see anybody from south over here. If you know, you know. Colchester, Essex, what's going on? I've got to know some people from there. Glasgow in the building. Oh, we way up north then, huh? What's up, Glasgow? All right, get where right, again we are representing. Looks like we got, we got London, got a bit of US, got some Russia, Canada. Man, we all over the buildings. <laughs> all right, well, everyone, welcome to, what is this, our fourth stream? fourth Get Right Monday stream where I'm just going to talk a little bit about my week, what I've been up to, my successes, my failures, everything that's gone well, give you guys some extra content and information as well as answer any questions you have, anything you would like me to clarify further and shed some more light into. Feel free to chime in below, give me some questions, any, any topics you want me to talk about. 
Lindsay says, hi, Jamal. What's up, Lindsay? Let's talk, people. Let's let's hang out. What do you guys want to talk about? What do you want to talk about? Huh? What's on your minds? <laughs> By the way, super chats are on. If anybody wants to support the stream, I absolutely appreciate that. Super chats are on and merch is always available. If you like this big, beautiful hoodie right here, you can get your own or t-shirts or vests or mugs from getrightgang.com. Yellow Moon, I know you're about to type it in the chat, so spam getrightgang.com if you're looking for some lovely merch to wear either on the streets or in your bedroom or at the gym. I got you covered and it supports me to check out getrightgang.com. Also, memberships are active on the channel and there is extra content. You guys already know this, but I do extra content for the members. It's not just donating me money for nothing. There's extra videos, good value videos on there. So if you're interested in becoming a member, you can click the pinned link in the chat right now or click the join button underneath this video. I've got so much good stuff for you and there's much more to come. So stay tuned. All right, let's talk. What we got? <laughs> Hassan says, long time lurk. I've been supporting in silence. Big ups. Yeah, I knew I knew I, I knew I would remember if someone from West London was here, because I just I would remember that. So I had a feeling you hadn't commented before. So hey, welcome, man. Nice to interact with you, my friend. Violet says, I'm listening today. Longest day at work ever. Oh, Violet, what happened, man? Who's upsetting you? Do we have to send the get right game after them? Let us know, man. I'll, I'll put someone on their tail. Beef Patty says, just want to give you props, man. Working hard, inspiring others, it's amazing. Hey, man, it's called the Get Right Gang for a reason. It's not called the Jamal Gang. It's everyone. It's all about inspiring and uplifting, working together and becoming better every day, supporting each other. So let's keep pushing. Violet says, let's talk about anything but finance. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> You got some uh, money issues? You owe some ops some money? Hmm? You got trouble with the mafia? What's going on? All right, so Yellow says, I love my merch. I do too, man. I love this hoodie, it's mad comfortable. I think the logo looks amazing and I can't wait to get some more, man. I'm gonna get some gym t-shirts at some point so I can wear those when I'm in a gym and show off to everybody with their whack t-shirts and their whack designs while I got this fresh t-shirt. <laughs> And everyone's going to be like, oh my gosh, where'd you get that? Well, you can get yours too, getrightgang.com. Violet says, I work in finance and I'm done with it for the day. I hear that. That must be hard work, man. And that must be very stressful, I imagine. I'm thinking the wolf of Wall Street and just the busyness and, and the stress of all of that. There's so much activity. I don't know. But big ups to you, man. You must be very intelligent to work in that industry too. So you're doing better than me. Jay Smith says, can you get some V-neck t-shirts? Can I? I'm not too sure if the merch facility and, produ and production company does V-neck, but I will certainly check for you and get back to you on that, Jay. I'll get back to you on that tomorrow. Next time you comment, I'll reply and let you know. Beef Patty says, I will just want to ask everyone to look after one another. It's real out here. Ain't that the truth, man? That's why it's all about good vibes. Let me get some good vibes Emoji spam in the comment below if you're a member. That's why it's all about good vibes over here. It is hard out here, man. Sometimes you just need a bit of support and some brotherly or sisterly love. No hate, no negativity. There we go, Jay Smith with the good vibes emoji spam. Let's get it. You tell him, man. So this week, let's talk, let's talk. This week was an um, interesting week. I think this week was the week that I took three days off or two days off. And everybody started acting like the world was coming to an end. You guys are crazy, man, I tell you. <laughs> People emailing me and messaging me like, Oh my gosh, Jamal, where are you? Are you okay? Oh, Jamal, you have a bastard. Jamal, are you bitching? No. <laughs> I'm like, bruh, can a, can a brother have a day? One day? One? Sheesh. But yeah, it was all good, man. I just took some time off to sort of re-strategize for the most part because I was working out every day for like two weeks straight in my bedroom, in this room here, working out every day for two weeks straight. And after a while, it just started to, the, the workouts just started to get flat. I just felt like I wasn't getting much out of it anymore. I wasn't really working up a sweat. When I was finished, I didn't feel like I was 
tired or anything or not tired enough. So then I, I then the next time I did it, I tested my heart rate. I checked my heart rate to see what was going on. And I noticed my heart rate was like barely even going over a hundred beats per minute, which for an exercise to not get hot, that's like a slow walk, if that. <laughs> So for me to be working out that long and not getting a high heart rate, I'm like, this ain't working out, man. So I was very, very surprised, quite amazed and astonished, actually, that a guy, even at 470 pounds, I should be able to go like that and my heart rate be off the chart. <laughs> I should be able to lift up my, my big toe and, my, and I'm busting a sweat. <laughs> but after, after doing that workout for a while, it just wasn't happening. So I had to sort of think about, okay, what am I going to do about this? Because this ain't working out for me. I, I, have, I always have a certain calorie goal in mind that I want to hit every day. And then the fact that I didn't get it or wasn't getting it anymore kind of bothered me. So I had to re-strategize. So that, that was probably the hardest part of this weight loss journey so far, to be honest with you. That was the most, I wouldn't say stressful, but it's the most challenging part. Because I, I don't like not having answers. I like to always be in control and have answers and solutions. But at, for that day or two... I didn't know what to do. I, I kind of ran out of ideas because I wasn't planning on going to the gym for a while. But then I sort of sat and thought about it and I'm like, who says I can't go to the gym? I, I decided that I can just change my mind. <laughs> I can just go to the gym. I thought it's not that big of a deal because I, I just wanted to wait till I lose 100 pounds first. But then I thought, ah, I lost 70 pounds. That's enough, right? I need to try something different. And I didn't know if it was going to work out for me or, or anything. It's just I needed to try something. Um, so that's what I did. I just set my mind. And I just sort of had to like overcome like a mental hurdle where I, was, where I sort of had in my mind for so long, I can't go gym until I hit 100 pounds lost. Even though I actually had signed up to the gym like in January. <laughs> so I was already paying for it. So I, was, but I still had to overcome that mental hurdle where I'd already set in mind. Maybe it was a bit of stubbornness. But I'd set in my mind that I weren't going to go to the gym. But then I had to be like, this is ridiculous. Go to the gym. <laughs> Get a proper workout in and see what happens. So I did that. You guys have probably seen the videos. Yellow says, Jamal, you are close. Close to what? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Am I too close to the camera? Or am I close to my goals? What do you mean by that? What are you doing? Says... Proud of you, Jamal, for going to the gym. It takes courage to step out of your comfort zone and start something new. You never fail to push yourself in improving your health and in encouraging the world. Oh, thank you, man. That's really nice of you. I appreciate that. Uh, honestly, step out of my comfort zone. I'm actually pretty comfortable in the gym. I, I love the gym. I like it even more now because <laughs> the culture has changed a lot. It's, it's, I'll talk about that in a minute. But the culture has really changed the only thing that's not so comfortable is recording in the gym, having a big old tripod in the gym, because my tripod is like quite large and I want to get really good footage when I'm in there as well. Like, you know, you can get those little diddy table tri tripods that you can put on the floor and they're like this big. But I don't, I don't have that. Well, I have one, but I don't bring that. I bring the proper big boy tripod, which is like six foot tall, because I want to get some really good angles and get really good shots because this is footage that I think I'm gonna be using and editing in the future, making different types of content with shorts, long form, etc. So I wanna make sure the footage is really good. I wish I could, I wish I had a better camera so I could have better quality footage as well, but I just make do with what I have. I gotta use this uh, iPhone camera here. Uh, I, I wish I could even use the other side, but then I won't be able to see the shot and make sure it looks all right. So doing the best I can, but. I I bring a big boy six foot tripod in in there with me, so <laughs> yeah, you get a lot of looks in there, that's for sure. Especially because those people probably go there regularly; they all know each other or see each other all the time. And now there's me, this big four hundred and sixty pound man, just rock up with his art six foot tripod. They're like, what's going on here? <laughs> this is this is different. At five in the morning, <laughs> so yeah, I do my best to try not to record people. But man, you got, did you see the video today you are? Type one if you saw today's video where I did my squats and shoulders. I was there, I arrived at 4.55 a.m. Thinking it was a Monday, so I'm thinking, oh, okay, it was Monday, but ain't no one gonna be there. Man, it was packed, man. Especially after when it got to like six o'clock, I'd say at least 50% of the machines were in use. 
it was that many people there. And that was a surprise because I used to, I used to up, I'm always the type of guy that goes to the gym in the early mornings. I never go at prime time. Like I never go in the evenings because I just don't see the point. It's too busy. If if it if my schedule was so rigid where I had to go at that time, obviously I'll do the best I can and just go. But my schedule isn't like that, so I can go anytime. So I've always opted to go really early in the morning. And I tell you, in the past, mainly pre-2020, you guys know what happened in 2020, mainly before that, there was, most of the time, it was just me in there by myself. Like, 50% of the time, it was just me in there by myself or one or two other people. And then the next week, it would just be me in there by myself. I used to say it was like I got my, my own playground all to myself. But <laughs> yesterday, I went there and it's like, man, it's busy as heck, man. Like, more busy than the clubs, <laughs> which is crazy. So that kind of suggests to me that people aren't really going clubbing or bars like they used to anymore because they want to get up early so they can go to the gym and take their fitness really seriously. In fact, I saw some people in there, multiple people in there, that I've seen go there multiple times now because I've been going there a week. And there's multiple people that I've seen going and they go there together. There's like a group, a, a groups of people that go there together. They work out together, like they get on the treadmill together, chatting away the whole time. And then they'll do their ab workouts together, chatting away the whole time. So to me, that's like, it's like it's the new club. Because that's what you would do at a club, innit? You go there together, you hang out, you chat away, you'll have a good time. Uh, you dance together. That's what the girls used to do. Anyway, the guys, fellas don't really dance like that. Unless you're trying to bump and grind, but it's not that channel. We're not going to talk about that. PG. So yeah, the groups of people go there together, work out together, do their abs together, maybe do a class together. And just be chatting away the whole time, gossiping or talking about whatever. This is what they got to talk about. And I'm just thinking to myself, man, in the past, you guys would be at the club doing that. Now you're at the gym here at five in the morning, getting in my camera shot and, and bothering me. <laughs> so things are really different, but it's a good, it's a good change. It's, you know, get right, gang right. It's good to see other people getting healthy, taking their fitness seriously. But all the, a lot of these clubs and bars, man, they're going to go out of business. I keep, keep saying it. I think a lot of the clubs and bars, the most of their business comes from selling food nowadays it's not really so much from clubs and bars because it's just not it's not what it used to be at least where i'm at some of you might live in miami or i don't know dubai <laughs> and clubs and bars are popping popping like bacon in a pan but over here where i live it's just not what it used to be and you know it is what it is it might not be a bad thing <laughs> what are you doing so stay out jamal's camera shots folks for real no man it might get in my shot Probably makes good footage though, like a good video because it kind of breaks it up and you get to see someone else and it's kind of like, so well, you guys watching are probably like, like, what's going on? Who's that? Just spying on people and just being nosy. So it is what it is, but I don't, I just, I just feel conscious about filming other people without their permission because they don't know I've got a YouTube channel. They probably they might find out one day and be like, hey, that's me. <laughs> Maybe one day one of them will, will comment on the video and say, hey, Time stamp, the time stamp, da, 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 that's me. But I'd rather not do it, at least at least for now. But uh, I've got to get my footage, man. So I'm probably going to start having to try going there even earlier. Even earlier than 5 a.m., can you believe it? But I probably have to start arriving at like 3 a.m. Or at least try it and see what it looks like. It might still be busy at 3 a.m. for all I don't know. Maybe people are have figured that out as well. And they're doing the same things. So time will tell. But um, I, I I can just go at any time. Like, I, I'm a guy that just, whatever I decide that I'm, I want to do, I just go and do it. So if I decide I'm going to start going at 3 a.m., I'll do it. For some of you, that might be crazy and impossible. But if that's what i got to do, that's what i got to do. So I might even do that today. Like, it's 1.30 now. Maybe today I'll go at 3. Um, depends how I feel after the stream. So we'll see. What you doing? Says, what's your vid today? You had three point. Three, three subs, now 3.35. You keep building your channel with your great content. Thank you, man. I'm doing my best. I'm just doing my part, trying to add value. It's all about value, man. People often ask me how to grow content, how to create content, how to grow a channel. The key is just creating and sharing value. If you're just wasting people's time, then you, people ain't going to have a reason to watch. Yeah, they have. You have to give them a reason to come back. 
So for me, my strategy is to give as much value as possible, which actually helps you guys. And I think it's working, at least I think so. What do you think? So my strategy is just create value, share value, whatever helps people, helps, helps them in their personal lives. You stick to that and you're going to do well. And t Hunt says, I wish my gym was 24-7. I bet there is a 24-7 gym, gym near you somewhere. Well, it depends where you live. Uh, most, of the, most of the 24-7 gyms are in or around city areas. Whereas if you're in like the sticks, then you might not have a 24-7 gym. Because <laughs> it's just not going to be good business. So yeah, it just depends where you live. But yeah, maybe you might might consider building your own gym perhaps. Uh, just getting some basic, simple equip pieces of equipment if you have the space and the means for it. Like just getting a bench, a dumbbell. If you're looking for some dumbbells which are good for uh, if you live in a small space, then look up some dumbbells called Bowflex. Shout out to anybody who knows about Bowflex. But look at look at the Bowflex dumb dumbbells. It's very hard to explain without you seeing it, but it's a, it's a dumbbell where you can add or remove weight and not actually have to put extra plates on. It's like, it's very, very compact. It's hard for me to explain, but if you look up Bowflex dumbbells, you'll see it and it'll make sense. It's not all that cheap though, to be honest. That's the only thing. <laughs> they charge a fortune for them and you, then you have to buy each dumbbell separately. So you gotta get two of them. But that's one way you can sort of get some dumbbells in a small space, not take up a lot of space with a whole rack of dumbbells. You can just get Bowflex dumbbells and when you see it, it will make sense as to how that works. So Hunt says, yeah, my dad uses that. So you already know. So yeah, if, if I didn't have, if I was looking for a 24 hour access to a gym and I didn't have one nearby, I might consider saving up some money and investing in some equipment so I can have my own home space. So Bowflex is a really good piece of equipment to help with that. There's probably other, other brands of that as well. Bowflex is just the first one I heard about. The only one I really know about, but there might be cheaper ones. I don't know if you want to get cheaper ones when it comes to workout equipment because you want it to last and you want it to be good, good quality. So just putting that out there. Yellow Moon says, please remember to hit the thumbs up button. Most definitely people, please hit the like button. Hit the like button. We've got 24 people here and only 15 likes. Guys, hit the like button. Hit the like button. And we ain't even got any super chats yet. Been on for 30 minutes, no super chats. Ah, that's okay. That's all right, guys. I know I know. it's all love anyway. I already know. It's all good. We don't need no super chats, right? <laughs> Nike's Life says, when do you break your fast? Uh, I eat one meal a day. So I eat literally as soon as I get home from uh, my gym sessions. I, you know, sort of unpack my bags, get my stuff together, and then I make my food the food that you see in the videos. So I eat once a day, so I guess I break my fast every 23 and a half hours. And that's what I've been doing lately. It's working out well for me. I've done different lengths fasts over the course of this weight loss journey, but that's the one that's been working out really well for me so far. One I've been able to stick to and I'm not having too much difficulties with it. So I hope that answers that. What else? <laughs> you guys, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat below. Anything you want me to add more context to, let me know as well. I am here to serve. How are you guys doing with your weight loss journey? Are you guys even on weight loss journeys? I'm always, I'm always curious about the what the viewers and the audience are up to as well. Uh, do you guys watch my channel just to see me just to see someone transform their lives? Are you just interested in seeing me go from one place to another? Or are you actually watching to get information that actually helps you as well? I always wonder that. So do you answer that as well? What are you doing, sis? Do you physically feel the difference with your amazing weight loss after 70 pounds in 70 days? Um, do I feel it? Yeah, definitely, man. I feel... In fact, I noticed it today when I was walking to the gym. I was walking, I felt like I was walking a little bit quicker than normal. I feel lighter on my feet. I don't have the aches and pains that I used to. Although, that being said, after three days in the gym now, I've got more aches and pains than ever before. <sighs> you have no idea how painful, how much pain I'm in right now. But in general, 
I don't have lower back pain anymore. My clothes are definitely fitting better than any, my clothes are definitely fitting better than they used to. Like that Adidas hoodie you guys have seen me wear in the past. At the start of this weight loss journey, I couldn't even zip it up. And then like halfway through the weight loss journey, I could zip it up, but it looked ridiculous because it'd be like, my gut would be out here. And now I'm wearing it and I can literally wear layers underneath it because it's cold and it, and it looks pretty good. So my clothes are getting slimmer. My jog jogging pants are going to need to be replaced pretty soon because I can't even tie them up any tighter anymore. <laughs> I need to get some new ones at some point. Although I've got some older ones which I can wear and the weather's getting better. So I'll probably be wearing shorts anyway. So I might not spend that money. But for the most part, yeah, I'm feeling fitter, getting fitter. And there's a lot more work to do. Um, so yeah, let's keep pushing. All right. Sonny Babla says, try to copy you, but it's impossible. What do you mean? What did you try to copy exactly? <laughs> what, what are you referring to? Hunt says, can you show how the eggs look after they've cooked, after they've been cooked? Yeah, I can do that. I can definitely do that, not a problem. Nike says, I've been trying, but very difficult for me. Watching your videos helps motivate me to try fasting. Good, man. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Glad my content is helping you along your weight loss journey as well. Fasting is definitely a really effective tool to use. And as you probably saw at the start, I did seven days dry fast like a crazy man. So if I can do seven days dry fast, I'm sure y'all can do a couple days water fast. Easy, you know? Don says the side by side when you get to 195 will be insane. Can't wait to see it. Oh my gosh, will it? Won't it? It is gonna be insane. It's gonna, oh man, what, what can I say, man? It will be insane. Especially the fact that I'm doing weights now. Like if I, if I just did cardio or fasting and I got to 195, I'll, I'd still look good. I'd look slim, but now that I'm doing weights and doing it, who knows what it's gonna look like. It might look just amazing. It might look really good. So I'm very interested to see and uh, if I can do it this year in 2024, then I'll be happy to do that. That's what I plan to do. I think I've got another 270 pounds to lose. And what we're at, what we're in March now, end of March. It's possible, perhaps. I'm gonna try. We'll see. But yeah, that before and after is gonna be awesome. Stay tuned. What's your prediction? Carry it. <laughs> Dale says, carry an 80 pound bag of concrete to the gym to remember old times. <laughs> you crazy, Dale. Violet says, I'm just glad you're doing okay. I'm doing great, man. I'm doing very well. T says, currently struggling with binge eating. Like, that's a good, that's a good topic. Let's talk about let's talk about binge eating. Because that's probably the biggest issue why most of you and us fail with losing weight is the issue of overeating so what do you do about it that's the question well my my solution to binge eating and i'm gonna have i'm gonna talk about this a lot now and in the future because it's the truth in my opinion but the solution to dealing with binge eating is accountability everybody tap accountability in the chat and i make sure you spell it correctly and if you don't spell it correctly i'm cool you up everybody tap accountability in the chat so that is the key, in my opinion, to overcoming anything that, not just binge eating, but it could be anything that you know you need to do, but you find difficult to stick to. So that could be quitting smoking, quitting any type of bad habit, could be studying for long periods of time, if, like, if you're in college or school, studying for exams, uh, could be, I don't know, could be lots of things. Accountability is important. If you're just in a position where you don't have to do it, and if you fail at it, then <laughs> Galina, you're crazy. <laughs> I knew someone was going to spell it incorrectly on purpose and you went all the way. So, yeah, <laughs> that popped me. But, yeah, you have, you have to put yourself in a position where you, if you do mess up, you're going to get called out for it and people are going to know about it or there's going to be some repercussions for it. You can't just be, oh, I messed up. No worries. I'm going to mess up again tomorrow. Nah, that's, it just doesn't work, at least at the start. Because after a while, once you've been doing for something for a while, you can potentially get into a routine and it just becomes habit and normality. 
that's that's normally how things work they say it takes like 28 days for something to become a routine but at least at the start of it getting over that hurdle i think the best way to do that is accountability i see t says six months sober big ups to you so in terms of binge eating obviously you guys know my way of accountability is doing daily weigh-ins on youtube so every day i weigh myself now every day i'm showing my gym sessions and showing the food that i eat so i'm accountable if my weight goes up 20 pounds in two days you guys are going to be like, what's going on? If you guys see my before and afters and see my belly start popping out and see my weight staying the same, you guys are going to be like, what's going on? Why is your belly bulging out but your weight's still the same? This ain't right. So that's my way of being accountable and it's working so far for me because I've attempted weight loss journeys in the past and it hasn't been successful. And the difference now between what I was doing then and what I'm doing now is I'm doing them every day. My weigh-ins are every single day. I'm accountable every day. I'm doing live streams every single week. So you can tell, you can even just look at my face and you can tell that it's not, that it's all accountable. It's all transparent. Because if I was lying about it, my face would be like a blowfish. But it's getting slimmer all the time. So I'm doing my best to be as transparent as possible. But that is the key. Obviously, most people are not going to be willing to put themselves out there on YouTube and take the shirt off and all of that which is absolutely fine, but there's lots of other ways to be accountable. The most obvious one and the most common one is to have a personal coach, personal trainer who keeps you accountable. Keep in mind, there's a lot of really bad personal trainers out there who don't even bother with that. They'll just go through some basic gym routines and call it a day. But the best type of personal trainer or the best type of coach is one that actually tracks your nutrition, tracks your weight, tracks as much stuff as possible and does that on a regular basis, ideally every day, so that if you do mess up, let's say let's say you use an app where you have to put your weight in or use an app where you have to put your food in and update with your food and they can see that in real time through the internet and you and you put some food in and you, and you don't hit your macros or you, you under eat or you overeat, then the coach should be like, yo, what's going on, man? They'll text you or send you a voice message and be like, yo, what's up, man? You ain't hit your macros today, man. You ain't hit your calorie goal today. What's you ain't hit your steps today. What's going on? That's another thing. If they can check your skip your steps, I think Fitbit does that. Fitbit have has a service, the Fitbit Watch. They have a service where other people can look at your steps if you add them to that list. So yeah, the, the coach could be like, yo, what's going on? You ain't done your steps today, man. What, what happened? Let's talk about it. And then you'll be like, yeah, yeah, I had a tough day at work and my boss was getting on my nerves and uh, my wife caught me cheating. No, no, hopefully that doesn't, that doesn't happen. But no, the point is, they'll be like, they'll check up on you and now you're accountable. You can't just mess up and it's okay and nobody, and nothing happens about it. There's no repercussions. Now you've got someone checking on you. So if you mess up, they're going to get on you for that, man. And they might kick your behind for that. Ideally, you want someone who's tough. I think the worst type of coach you can have is someone who you're friends with because then you don't feel like, then you feel like it's okay. Like, eh, I messed up. Eh, don't worry. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I messed up. You want someone where you feel like if you messed up, oh, snap, they're going to destroy me. <laughs> you need somebody who's tough, someone who's rough. If they're too friendly, don't don't have a friend as a can't be. Uh, the, the worst of can't be buddies are someone who you're friends with. In fact, if I if it's, if I can at what at some point I'll, I'm going to create a community of you guys, and I'm going to create a community where you guys can interact and find accountability buddies in this community itself. Find people you don't know. Could be someone in Moscow, Russia, and someone in Australia, and you guys just get along, and you guys decide, okay, you're going to be my accountability buddy. We're going to work together. We're going to connect our Fitbits together. We're going to check our each other's steps, check each other's calorie counts. I'm going to put in our food and water every day. And if one person slips up one day, I'm going to send you a voice message. I'm going to be like, get your ass up. you got some more steps to do today. You didn't do your steps tomorrow, so now you're doing double steps today. You, eat, you ate too much food yesterday, so now you're eating nothing today. And you just get right together. I think that's the, I, I think that's a really good way to go about it. I don't think having a friend who you are close with is a good way to go about it. Because when one person messes up, the other person might just mess up as well. And they just mess up together. But you need someone who's serious. And someone who you're good friends with, it just doesn't always work. Because you don't feel like you have to take it that seriously. Because 
Yeah, they're my friend and my boy. What are they going to do about it? You need someone that's going to get in your asshole about it. Pause on that. But you guys know what I'm saying. So accountability buddy is a really good way to do it. But you have to be selective about who you have as an accountability buddy. It has to be someone that's going to take it seriously and someone that's going to get on you for it if you mess up. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that helps, man. But yeah, if you have issues with binge eating, guys, find a way to be accountable. There's many ways out there. Do some research. Go on Google and type it. Go on ChatGPT and type it. How to how best ways to be accountable. And that just that doesn't just go for binge eating as well. That could go for anything that you're struggling with. Any sort of vices you have. So yeah. What do you guys think about that, huh? T, keep up the great strong mindset. You can accomplish anything and everything you set your mind to, including staying sober. 100%, man. It's good advice right there. Violet says, for me, work makes it the hardest to go to the gym and eat right. I know it's excuses. Maybe I should have someone check up on me. Well, it is 100% an excuse, Violet. I'm sorry to call you out on that, but lots of people do the same thing you do, the same job you do, probably do more hours than you do, they have more going on at home than you do, and they still manage to get into the gym and put in the work. So if other people can do it, then you can do it too. Unless you're the president of, of, the, of the planet and you're working all day and night, I'm sure that, that person would still go to the gym too, man. There's definitely no excuse. And you, should, you just have to make it a priority, man. It is your health at the end of the day. It is your well-being. And it is super duper important. I, I'm, I'm a 470 pound guy saying that. I know that's kind of ironic for me to get up to this way and be like, your health is important. But it is. You can absolutely find the time and just make the time, man. If it means that you have to sacrifice some things which are not important. Or for the most part, it just probably means you just need to manage your time better, better than. And just find more efficient ways to manage your time. There might be some things that you don't need to do, which you thought you needed to do. But you can outsource. There might be some things you can do to speed things up. Uh, perhaps you spend, some people spend like two hours cooking food every day. Perhaps you can do meal preps every week, for example. And now you save yourself time right there. So that time that you spend cooking, you could be in the gym getting a workout. And so just be more efficient with your time. Sacrifice some things that if you need to. But there's definitely no excuse at all. Natia says, tune in now. I'm sorry I'm late, but community is so important while fasting. I'm doing it solo and it's sometimes so hard. The channel definitely helps stay motivated. Thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in, Natea. Stay strong, man. Keep pushing. You got this. And 100% community is important. That's what I was saying earlier. At some point, I would like to create a community where the Get Right Gang can just connect with each other. You can even maybe create a, a group, an accountability group, maybe like five people. You can maybe put some money in the pot and whoever loses the most percentage of weight or something gets all the money. I don't know. That's something we'll think about in the future. That's long-term plans. But... Yeah, it definitely helps when you're working with someone who's serious. That's an important thing. Because if you're both not serious, <laughs> then when one, one person messes up, the other person's not going to keep them accountable. They're just going to mess up as well. They're going to be like, oh, well, that person messed up. He or she messed up. Then I'm okay. I, I could take a cheat day. And then it all comes crumbling down. Like, like Lego. So it's important to find someone who's serious. And that's why I want to create my own community get right gang because obviously we're all serious over here we're all about health and well-being and getting right so that's the plan but stay strong Natalia. you can do it mm, what else we got Knight says do you track your ketone level i don't not too concerned about that i'm more concerned about just what i eat how many calories i burn and i'm gonna lose weight that way yellow says i started a food journal that's interesting Food journal. I mean, I, I basically eat the same food every day, so I don't really need to write down the food that I eat. And I've even got it on video anyway, so that I guess that's my food journal right there. <laughs> Any more questions, y'all? What do you want what do you guys want to talk about? We had some really good questions today, really good topics so far. So thank you for that. Thank you for helping make the stream much easier for me, because otherwise I'll just be uh Quiet, <laughs> not saying much. What else you guys want to talk about? So tomorrow is going to be, or today is going to be chest and triceps again. If you guys don't know, my split for my new, my new workout program in the gym is going to be 
for one day is going to be chest and triceps then the next day is back and biceps next day is legs and shoulders and i'll probably do that twice and then i'll take one two three or four rest days after that just depending on, on how i feel like honestly right now i can't wait for my rest day because i feel destroyed <laughs> honestly i should probably take a rest day today but i ain't gonna do that i should but i'm not going to today is chest and tries i'm gonna get my chest and tries in hopefully i can get some good footage without a bunch of people getting in the way but that's going to be my program and also i'll be doing some ab work every day i had a good question as well about abs how to get a good ab workout and obviously since i've got this magnificent eight eight pack i'm the guy to talk to about getting good abs so i'm gonna give you my opinion but the best way to get abs is to treat it like it is just any other muscle and the same way you would treat any other muscle in the gym weights you have to use weights because once your abs get stronger you're going to need to increase the weight so if you're just doing abs ab workouts on the floor without any weights you won't be able to increase and progressively overload that weight so i think one of the best ways to get ab workout is to use the machines in the gym where you can increase the weight or decrease the weight once you get stronger over time there's several machines in the gym that do that just find the best ones for you and add weight over time so maybe every week you can put a little bit extra weight on progressively overload because you just it's all about building strength and building muscle and that's how you do that i don't think floor ab workouts are the best because you can't add weight you could do more reps but when it comes to building muscle you want to keep the reps low in my opinion you want to keep the reps low and increase and increase the weight over time that's the best way to build muscle if you increase the reps rather than the weight that sort of helps with stamina and endurance but if you increase the weight and not the reps that helps with strength and power that's my understanding anyway obviously i'm a i've got these male model abs so i'm the guy to ask about that so i hope that helps <laughs> uh, yellow says jamal where are you going to visit what do you mean where am i going to visit you mean when or where you probably mean when but you mean when am i going to visit seattle i'm guessing that's what you mean Violet says, would you say you're introverted or extroverted? I'm very much introverted, very introverted, and always have been. But I do have spurts and moments throughout the day where I come across as extroverted. So, for example, if I go to one of the nearby clubs or bars, I'm always, like, very energetic and I can talk to anybody. Even in the gym today, or was it yesterday? I think it was today. There was a there was a there was a guy I didn't get I didn't include the footage because it was the footage was too long, but there was a guy who walked past the camera today, when I was in the gym, and like he was kind of cheeky like he walked past and he was like, he just stuck his face in the camera, <laughs> on purpose, while I was recording while I was lift doing my leg curls, so I could tell like like this this guy's cheeky this guy's fun, so like when I got off the leg machine I just went over to him. I just started chatting to him, man, because I was like, okay, this guy's this is a cool dude. That's like something that I would do. <laughs> just <laughs> when someone's trying to do the workout, I'd just be like, and then walk off. But because because I, I didn't know him and he didn't know me, I thought, yeah, he's he must be outgoing. So let me chat to him. And yeah, we just had a good conversation. He would, I was just I, I just I just said, what are you working on today, man? That's a good way to have a conversation in the gym and and introduce yourself, break some ice. Just be like, what are you doing today? Or if you see them doing legs, just be like, yo, what's up? Leg day today, yeah? And just start talking that way. <clears throat> so he was just telling me a bit about himself. He was he told me about a uh, boxing gym nearby as well. He said there's a gym nearby where they have a really good boxing class. And he was recommending that, that I could go there, perhaps, because he goes there. He works out his legs a lot and he goes to boxing class a lot. So I was like, yeah, I didn't know about that. That's something to keep in mind because I like boxing too. <clears throat> and he was just telling me about his job a little bit. So, yeah, I um, I'm to answer the question. I'm one hundred. I'm like ninety five percent introvert. I love my own space. I love my own privacy. I like living by myself. I like peace and quiet and serenity. But then there's like small spurts, maybe like three hours a day, where I just get very extroverted as well. So it just depends on on the mood I'm in and what's going on. But I'm not like a social butterfly where I can just talk and yap and 
and just chat around all day. I like my own space. I like to be in my own thoughts and focus on what I got to focus on. <laughs> Violet says I like that story. True story, man. This dude was cheeky. I'm not going to say his name, but I'm probably going to see him there. I might even ask, say, yo, you want to be in a video <laughs> next time? But he just walked past the camera like, I was like, you, you're cheeky, some of my... <laughs> Let me have a chat with you. And that's what happened, so... Sonny says, do you ever chat to ladies much? Hmm. I can neither confirm nor deny the answer to that. What are you doing, says, make some business cards with your channel info, pass it out. <laughs> One channel did this and gave cards to family friends uh, and ended up with a million subs. It's good, good advice, thanks for the tip. Uh, there's many ways to grow a channel. That could be one of them for sure. Geraldine says, you sound like a personal trainer. Interesting. You think so? You think I sound like a personal trainer? I'm still a noob, but what do you think? Maybe one day. Jay Smith says, do you drink, do you drink green tea? Uh, sometimes I do have green tea. I have lots of green tea, actually. I'm not a big fan of the taste of it, but I know it's very good for you in terms of the health-wise. From what I hear. And them Asians, man, them Japanese, they seem to live a long time, don't they? Them Japanese folk. So they must know something. <laughs> it is Japanese, right? Or is it Chinese? Or is it both? I hope I'm not being racist. Uh, what are you doing? Says, good info, Jamal, about not increasing reps, adding weights. Okay, yeah. I guess that's what you meant when you... Uh, when, you, when someone said you sound like a personal trainer. It's true. It's true. I've, I've got some, like, I've got some charts about that stuff as well, as well which I just remember off the top of my head. But it, it basically says that if you use low weights, low, if you do low reps but high weight, like, let's say you do five reps and that's all you can do. Like, you literally can't do more than five reps. Then that's how you increase power and strength. So if you see those power lifters in the, in the gym, those really big yoke power lifters, most of the time you'll see them and they're doing really low reps, but the weight is super high. That's how you really explode the power and the muscle. That's how you really grow the muscle as well. That if you're off the size and strength, low, low reps, but high weight. So you really want to aim for like no more than six reps. If you can do more than six reps, then you need to put the weight up. That's how you really grow strength and size. So I'm thinking that might be what I should probably do, maybe, but I'm not too sure. Obviously, in the future, when I'm trying to grow muscle and bodybuild, like after I hit my weight goal, that's what I'm going to be doing. But for now, I don't think I really should be doing that because I'm not really eating enough food. I'm not eating any carbs as well, so I don't really have, might not have the energy for it. And there's higher risk of injury as well. But if you're more about endurance and stamina and conditioning, let's say for an athlete, then you want to keep the reps much higher than that. So maybe aim for 12 reps or even more, 20 reps, and do as much weight as you can so that you can get those reps. So that's what I've been doing. I've been aiming for 12 reps or 10 to, 10 to 12 reps. And if I can do more than 12 reps, then that means I need to put the weight up next time I try it. So I was, I've been going for more conditioning and stamina rather than strength and size. Because I'm trying to lose weight. I'm not trying to get strong and get bulky right now. Because I don't think I can either. I'm not eating enough, that much protein either. So uh, I'm very careful. We've got some street racers out there racing cars. And my Afrocom is gone. RIP. Yeet! <laughs> so yeah, there's definitely a lot of information and, and things to know with regards to reps, ranges, and with regards to the weight. But if you're going, I think the general rule is if you're looking to get bigger and stronger, you keep the reps low and the weight high. If you're looking for conditioning and stamina and just overall general health, keep the reps around 10 to 20 and keep the weight at as much as you can so you can do 10 to 20. Hope that helps. Violet says, I was told to lose weight first and then gain muscle, but to be fair, I am a girl. No, you can do both if you want to. Just depends on what your goal is and what you want to look like when you get to your weight goal. You can absolutely do both at the same time. Like that's what I'm doing now. I'm losing weight and lifting weights at the same time. So for me, what I'm doing is I go to the gym or lately what I've been doing is I'm going to the gym 
And I told you guys earlier, I, I do my splits in terms of three muscle group, two muscle groups each day. So tomorrow's gonna be chest and triceps. And I got my Fitbit here. You guys know I always talk about my Fitbit. I don't even I don't even press anything until my workout is done, until I've done my weightlifting. So I do my weightlifting however long it takes. And then I look at my watch when it's, when it's done and I, may, I might be like, all right, I'm gonna do another 1000 calories. Or what, I'm, what I've also been doing is I just, as soon as I walk in the gym, as soon as I walk in the gym, I look at my Fitbit and I look at how many calories it, it, it says on there. So it might say I burnt 900, 900 calories as soon as I walk in the gym. So I decide to myself, okay, today I'm gonna burn 3000 calories no matter what. So I don't stop and I don't leave until I burn 3,900 calories. I hope that makes sense. So if I walk in the gym and it says 900, I decide, all right, I'm gonna do another 3,000. So once it hits 3,900, I'm done. I don't look at the time. Obviously, if I, have a, if I had a busier schedule and I had appointments and places to be, then the time will be more crucial. So that just depends on your circumstances. But for me, I'm, at least for now, I'm all right with that. So I just decided, all right, I'm gonna burn 3,000 calories today. So what I just do is I'll do my workout, do my lifts, however long that takes. And then once that's done, then I look at my watch again and, and it might say, okay, you need to do another 1,000 calories to get to that goal. So then I'll just do my cardio for, for another 1,000 calories, which is like, for me, it's like another hour. So I do my cycling or I get on the treadmill or use the ski machine. You guys know about the elliptical. If you watch my videos, you know I can't use the elliptical. If you know, you know. But yeah, just finding different machines to get those extra calories off. And then once I get to my goal, wrap it up and head home. Uh, so I think that's a really good way to go about it because you know you always get an effective workout and you always hit your targets. Like When you focus on the time that you're in the gym, you, I've talked about this in the last couple of days, but sometimes you can work out and you can have a really flat workout. That isn't as that effective. No, but if you focus on the calorie burn that you get instead of the time that you're there, you always get that effective workout that you're looking for. So that's why I think these fitness watches are really good. Fitbit's a really good one. I think Garmin's Garmin's probably the most expensive one out there. I think uh, Google has a good one. I've tried one of the cheap ones before, and it just it's not the same. I don't recommend the cheap ones. I think I can definitely recommend a Fitbit because I've been using it for years. So I haven't, I haven't tried some of the others, but Fitbit's really, really good. Mm. But Natea says, do you plan on doing extended fast? Yes, I actually do plan on doing extended fast very soon, actually. So after my, uh, my workouts are done, so after I do, say, maybe six days straight in the gym, once I do my rest days, I plan to do my rest days fasted. So my rest day could be one, two, three, four days. It just depends on how long I feel I need to recover because I'm under eating protein intentionally so that I can hopefully recover some loose skin. But I'm intentionally under eating. And the problem with that is that my muscles will not recover as well as they could if I ate enough protein. So it will probably take longer to recover and I'm gonna be in more pain. <laughs> I'm always gonna be in pain because of that. So I'm always gonna be suffering. But so, but for that reason, I'm gonna take probably take longer rest days, maybe three days on average rest days. Maybe we'll wait and see. And then on the rest days, my plan is to fast, water fast during the rest days, not dry fast. I'm gonna water fast on the rest days, get some of that lovely juicy autophagy. If you guys know about autophagy, then the plan is to get some juicy autophagy going again to start to consume some of these damaged cells in my skin hopefully, so I can tighten it all up. And so once I get to my 195 goal, I don't look like an empty sack of potatoes. Hopefully, that's the plan. So yeah, I do plan on doing some fast. On my rest days, I plan to do my rest days fasted, water fasted, and that will be a way to recover my muscles and get some autophagy boosting going. If you don't know what autophagy means, let me know. I can give you a bit of an explanation on that. But I think most of you people here and the YouTube community in general has a good idea about fasting principles. But if you don't, let me know. 
Violet says, thank you so much. I appreciate how supportive you all are. Indeed, we are the best, man. Get Rat Gang is like the best community on YouTube. Trust me. Wow, Jay Smith with... <laughs> Jay Smith with the super chat. Let's go. Everybody show some love to Jay Smith in the chat. First super chat of the day. I didn't think we was going to get one today. It's been an hour, but I don't really mind. But thank you so much, Jay Smith. Show some love, everyone, in the chat for Jay Smith with the $10 super chat. <laughs> he says, sardine fun. Big ups, Jay, for the sardine fun. <clears throat> That's going to get me about 20 cans of sardines right there. Appreciate your man. Big love for that. Yeah, show some love in the chat, please, for Jay Smith, man. You guys, because I, 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 I really appreciate Super Chats and anybody who becomes members. Like, I had a few people become members today. Throughout the week, there's people who buy merch. And throughout the week, there's people who send me donations. In fact, I'm going to shout out Malamar, who's not here right now, but Malamar, I know you're going to watch the replay. Malamar has sent me several very generous donations in my emails throughout the weeks. So I don't get to give recognition in the videos because it's not the same as a super chat, but, and it's private, but Malamar has given me some donations. I'm just like, you bad about That is so generous, for real. It's a big, big love to everybody who, who supports because I know you, I know we all work hard for our money. And especially nowadays, money is a valuable resource because everything's gotten so expensive and it might even continue to do so. So I do take that. I do take that very seriously. I don't take it for granted. So, Jay Smith, big love to you, man. Big love to everybody who supports, man. You guys are awesome. And it's just going to help me, and it's going to help this channel and this brand in the future because you, I've said it earlier today, but there's tools that I need to get. I need to upgrade this camera at some point. I need to get a microphone, one of them Samsung microphones at some point. I need to upgrade my computer facilities because I, I want to do these live streams collaboratively. Like, I want to set it up so that... When I do live streams, you guys can come on and we can talk. I can set it up, have the little, what's it called? The stream yard going so we can talk to each other. I can have like all different facilities and features going on. But for that, I need to invest money in it. And it's money that I don't have right now. So <clears throat> everybody who becomes members, everyone who buys merch or donates, it, it helps me and it's going to help the future of this platform so that I can continue to help you guys. So it's an exchange of value. And the future's bright. Let's just go for it, man. Let's keep pushing. I'm just going to keep doing my part. So that's like the longest thank you ever. <laughs> thank you, Jay Smith. <laughs> Violet says, no. T says, everyone is so nice here. I'm pretty isolated right now due to MH issues. First time commenting on the live and people are so sweet. Hey, man. It's all good vibes over here. Let's spam good vibes in the chat, people. If you got the emojis, spam them good vibes. That is what we're all about. I tell you, man, with this with this community, I treat you guys like people that I would hang out with in real life. So that's the type of vibe I'm looking for. If you're someone that I would hang out in real life, then you're more than welcome here. If you're if you're a, a penis head, then I don't want you. It's that simple. If I if you're someone that I wouldn't hang out in real life, then you're out. I just block people like crazy. So it's very simple. People wonder why I block people. It's because you're a dickhead for the most part. Excuse my language. If you're a dickhead, you'll get blocked. If you're a good, if you've got good vibes and I like your energy, then you're welcome. That's that's literally the only entry requirement. Don't be a dickhead. So yeah, big love everyone. It's all good vibes over here, always. And that's because we keep the riffraff out, as they say. <laughs> Very strict entry requirement. Don't be a dickhead. <laughs> Justin says, love it here. Jay Smith says, I gang gang. Oh, Natia says, how do we become a member? Yeah, so to become a member, there should be a pinned comment. Yeah, there is literally a pinned comment at the top of this chat. Click the link in the pinned comment right there at the top, and you'll, be, and you'll see the membership options there. Or there might be a, a button at the bottom of this video which says join. Either way, click that and you, become a, you can become a channel member. As I said, it supports me and supports the future of this channel. And there's extra content as well there for you. I just put up a video yesterday. There's lots of videos there now which are exclusive to channel members and there's much more to come. So check that out. Click the pin comment or click the link below that says join. Violet says, I gotta go to bed. Have a great night, everyone. Violet, thank you so much for attending this stream today and with the great questions. Good night, sweet dreams, and we'll see you soon. Keep getting right, Violet. You're doing great. All love. 
All right. Any questions, guys? What, what's on your mind, people? What you want to talk about? Any more questions? Jay Smith is a rock star. Yes, indeed. All right, we've been on for an hour. So if there's not any more questions, then I'm not going to waste my time or your time. We'll just call it a day and keep getting right until next week. By the way, uh, not, not next week, but the week after. Oh, sorry, not this week, but the week after. I'm going to have a really, really busy week. I've actually got a training course that I've got to go to. It's a training course for something in my real life, real life work. And I might not be able to upload much. Or I'm, if I do upload, it's going to literally be like 30 second videos. So it's not this week. Today's Monday, so it's not this week. But the week after, I've got a training course from like Tuesday to Sunday. And it's like 10 hours each day. I didn't realize that until the other day. I'm like, bro, why is this course so long? Why is it 10 hours a day? So for that reason, my the amount of free time I have is going to be very, very limited. I won't have time to edit videos like I do or film videos like I do. But obviously, it's very important for me to use the free time that I have to go to the gym and get my workout. So I'm still going to be going to the gym, still going to be getting my workout. But for the most part, I might just be doing 30 second weigh in uploads with no editing or very, very little editing. And that will be for that week. Not much I can do about it. I've got to do a training course and it's going to take all day, <laughs> unfortunately. But once that's done, it's done, then we'll get back to normal. But I will do my best to at least show up every day and upload something every day because I know when I don't show up, you guys start losing your minds. <laughs> and I, I, do, I do respect and appreciate the fact that me showing up every day does help you guys or some of you guys to stay motivated Maybe sometimes motivate starts to slip a little bit, but then when I show up with my results every day, it just gives you that little bit of boost to to to, to keep pushing yourself. So I take that as as an honor. So I'm gonna do my best to show up, even though I'm gonna have a really busy week next week. I'll still try and show up, even if it's a 20 second video with no editing. At least I'll be there. At least still you know replying to comments and stuff. So just giving you a little bit of a heads up. I'm gonna have a busy week real soon, but I'm gonna do my best. Justin says, I came in late, but as always, thanks, mods, and thank you, Jamal, for yes, indeed. I think Yellow Moon was the only mod we had on today, so Yellow, you are a superstar. Yellow Moon's here every single week. In fact, Yellow Moon's always here before I'm here. Yellow Moon's, like, so good at modding. Thank you, Yellow. You're a superstar. By the way, <laughs> some of you, you members, by the way, I'm very excited for you, some of you members, because I checked today, and some of you have been members for 29 days. So I think either tomorrow or the day after, your membership emoji or your loyalty badge is going to upgrade. So that black emoji some of you have, like I think yellow, you might be one of them. But that black loyalty emoji you have is going to upgrade and you're going to get the next one, the better one. So I'm very excited for you. <laughs> I wish I had one, but I don't get to have one apparently. Even though I created them and designed them myself, I don't get to have a member emoji. What kind of, what kind of cheeky stuff is that, YouTube? I created the darn thing. I don't even get my own member emoji. The cheek. But yeah, some of you are going to get your upgraded emojis soon as long as you remain a member because it's like day 29 for some of you. So I'm excited for you. <laughs> it's just a little thing, but it is what it is. So yeah, Just Jen says, do what you got to do. I appreciate that. But yeah, yeah, just giving you guys a heads up. It's going to be a busy week very soon. I've got some stuff to do in my personal life. But the weight loss and the effort is not going to change. It's a priori priority. It's a priority. Why am I messing up that word? It's a priority for me to make sure I still get into the gym and get in, get that working, even if I don't have the time to record and make videos about it. Uh, at least post a little way in, post a little something, something, just to keep things flowing, just to make sure I'm still showing up, because I know it does help a lot of people. So just letting you know. <clears throat> okay, guys, I think we've covered a lot today. I think I'll give a lot of information so if you've enjoyed this stream, if this stream has been valuable to you, if you've had a good time, spam one in the chat below. Spam one if you've enjoyed the stream. If you've got any value from the stream whatsoever, spam one. And please, please smash that like button on your way out. Last chance, guys. This, please smash the like button so that it helps other people 
YouTube just decides to show it to more people just by, by the amounts of likes it gets and engagement. So type one, make sure you've hit that like button if you haven't. It's all love. It's all good vibes over here. We've had a great stream. I appreciate you all. I'm going to keep doing my part. <clears throat> I'm going to try to hit the gym tomorrow, get some footage as well, and keep doing my part, keep to inspire, keep to uplift. Let's keep pushing, guys. Let's keep up the great effort. Uh, guys, I'm going to be back very soon. Thanks to everybody for showing up, for everybody who's... You guys are all over the world, man. We've got Moscow, we've got Australia, we've got West London, we've got Seattle, we've got New York. We're representing all over all over the world and you guys are still spending your time with me. I appreciate you all. Guys, I'll be back very, very soon. Let's keep pushing. And you know the rest. Let's get right. See you next time. Peace.